Hello VC, hello everyone. I hope everybody is doing alright and keeping well. And yes, I'm back with another video. It's been about a month since the last one, which again, it was a record update, just like this one now. And in this update, I'll be showing you all the charity shop finds I've accumulated throughout the year. I was very lucky, of course, in around April when I got all those Depeche Mode and Mute related stuff from Oxfam, which was just amazing to find them. And this is all the stuff that's happened um, in between finding those records. And there will be some Oxfam stuff in here as well. So yeah, let's get started, shall we? All right. Okay, so the first one I've got to show is a 12 inch. Got this around March time. This is Liza Minnelli and her version of the Stephen Sondheim musical song, Losing My Mind, which is from Follies, I believe. So yeah, of course I had to get this. I love this track, always have. Produced by Pet Shop Boys, of course, and Julian Mendelssohn, am I right? Yeah, yeah. Really good song, really good cover in my opinion. My favourite version of the track, definitely. And then on the B side, you've got the single mix and Liza's version of the Pets Tonight Is Forever. And there is the vinyl there for you. Yeah, really good track. Got this from Hope House for about one pound fifty, and I mean, and I know it's I know probably that's a bit much asking for it, but you know I had to buy. It, I thought like all the condition of the record is really good, so yeah, very happy with that. Next two were I think about a week or a day or so later. I can't really remember really. I think it was just not long after that really after I got the Eliza twelve inch. But anyway, here we go. Here's my next finds. These were in March. They, these were from the air ambulance shop in my area and yes these were about two of these were two pound or a pound or something like that a little bit pound or two pound or whatever but yeah they're really nice condition i think no actually i think one of these was two pound and two of these was a pound i can't tell you which one but they were very good really good condition these so here we go lou reed what a surprise to find lou reed in a charity shop Walk on the Wild Side, The Best of Lou Reed from 1981, released on uh, RCA. Really good compilation, this. You know, you've got your usuals on there, you've got your Satellite of Love, you've got like the live versions of his Velvet stuff, like Sweet J and Wild Eye White Heat. Uh, you've got, you know, yeah, some good songs, New York, Telephone Combination, Conversation, Walk on the Wild Side, you know, stuff like that. But then you've got some other tracks on here. Uh, just to show this. This was originally bought from Boots for about two ninety nine. Yeah, I'm guessing in nineteen eighty one. <laughs> Pretty cool, because I couldn't get that price tag off. There's a really good. There's some other really good songs to sell, which I hadn't heard till I got this compilation. So there's a track on here called Wild Child, which is a really good like rocking song. And you've got a nice short ballad called I Love You. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I Love You. Really good song. And then you've got on here, How Do You Think It Feels, which the middle part of that song reminds me of a track that Bowie would later do on his 1999 record, Hours, called Survive. The middle bit reminds me of the middle bit of Survive. <laughs> and then you've got side two. Um, the tracks I hadn't heard on here were Sally Can't Dance, which definitely has a funk and soul vibe to it. He's sort of doing that on that track. Nora It All's a really good song. And then the final track on the LP is the brilliant Coney Island Baby, such a great song. Again, first time hearing that was on this. Yeah, definitely want to track down that record now. Next two I got from Air Ambulance were these two Cliff Richard records. I do like Cliff, I'm a fan of his, so I thought why not. First one I ever is probably the least of the two I found there. This is Love Songs. Um, I was kind of fooled thinking it was the greatest hits compilation. Um, it's okay, I guess. It's got the 60s stuff, which I'm not really huge on. I mean, there's some decent songs from that era, but not like many big, big ones anyway. But yeah. It's got Carrie and We Don't Talk Anymore, which are great songs on it. Look at that back cover there. Very much of its time, very late 70s. Same goes with the main record cover itself. Better look at it there for you. <laughs> look how 70s, late 70s that is. <laughs> and then you've got the original price sticker, also bought from Boots. Um, it was 4 25 for this. Originally somebody bought it for that. Custom label there for you. The following LP I've got to show is Wired for Sound. 
Really good album this from 1981. Yeah, really good record this. Really enjoyed it. You've got the title track, which I think is fantastic. You've got Once in a While, Better Than I Know Myself, Oh No Don't Let Go, Because I Love Rock and Roll, Broken Doll, Lost in a Lonely World, Summer Rain, Young Love, Say You Don't Mind, and Daddy's Home. Lyric sleeve there for you, in a sleeve. And you've got the LP. Cliff, of course, doing a bit of synth pop on this. Again, the title track, you know, very electronic in areas, just, yeah. I love that song. Has anyone seen a video to that? It's blooming very much of its time, isn't it? With Cliff on roller skates, wearing green shades and a like leather jacket and blue shirt underneath. And he's on like he's on skates, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> roller skates. <laughs> uh, and also, there's someone else in here as well. I'm just remind myself. Yeah, there's this pretty cool thing, which is um, like a send out. A mail order thing for a t-shirt. That's pretty cool. I love stuff like this when it comes with my records. Yeah, Really cool. I like a bit of Cliff. I am a Cliff fan, just like James Griffiths. <laughs> Alright, the next bunch are from Oxfam. Most of these anyway. Yeah. Um, Alright, this next one was picked up at the end of August. So in Oxfam, just around the end of August, we were given a really nice, like, job lot of records. We were given so many. I can't believe it. We were given, like, a lot of Floyd, a lot of Dylan, some Bowie stuff, some Ziggy Stardust pinups and a 60s compilation, Curtis Mayfield record. We were given so much random, brilliant stuff, Beatles-related stuff, you know. Yeah, it was brilliant, incredible batch of records. I'm still sorting out now sorting out now when I go there, you know, Fairport Convention, things like Steel Eye Spam, stuff like that. Traffic. We were given so much. Uh, yeah. And when I saw the batch the first time I thought, okay, I'm having that for myself. So I got myself a copy of Source of Blue Secrets by the Floyd, late seventies pressing, in really good condition. Yeah, just had to get it. Got it for a tenner, which is really nice. Yeah. Really good album this. Don't really need to expect this album much to you, but you know, love this album. But I played it when I got home from after just after purchasing it. I thought, wow, it's just just sounded brilliant on my turntable. Uh, late seventies pressing, I believe, or eighties pressing or whatever. You know, again, you know, it's a reissue from a while after. Yeah, really good record. Favorite track off here would have to be. If I had to choose a favourite, it's Let There Be More Light, or Set The Controls for The Heart of the Sun, or, I don't know, Source Full of Secrets. Too many good songs this album. Really strong record in my opinion. Yeah. Nice so a bit more Floyd. Nearly complete now, only missing one. And the next one I picked up was a very interesting find. This is... what's it called again? This is... Um, yeah, it's by Rido Zibri and Mel Bowen. Stories from the Glass House. It's like new wave, skiffle, Irish type music. Really weird in areas, but really good. I'll show you the cover of it, as this is a sleeveless copy. Yeah, very interesting find. I don't think I paid much for it. I quite like what I heard of it when I sampled it on a little turntable in Oxfam. But yeah, very interesting record. Um, I can't find any like songs of it online. All I could find out was like, li like the information I could find was the album title and all that on Discogs, which was quite handy. But yeah, couldn't find anything else about it. It's really interesting. If you do see this coming around, pick it up. It's very interesting. Yeah. And the next one I got was from a good old charity shop called Annie's Orphans. Um, I'll give you a backstory with this Annie's Orphans shop. Um, for a while I've known the um, person who who works there. And they occasionally like to give me records. They always say, oh, you can have that. I always insist on paying, but, you know, so, oh, you can have that. It's like, so, which is very nice. And I've got a copy of this for nothing, so I'm very happy with it. This is Prince's Controversy, another gap filled in the Prince collection. I couldn't believe it, fair play to the person. 
yeah, really good record this from 1981. Uh, yeah, really, really good record. Bit of scratches on it, but it plays fine, really. I've, I've played it. Yeah, great songs on here. Title track, Controversy is amazing. Sexuality is a great song. Do Me Baby, uh, you know, Private Joy, Ronnie Talks to Russia, Let's Work, Annie Christian, and You Off. Uh, yeah, really, really good. Good stuff on here. And then you've got back there. Yeah, really good record, this. And I got it for nothing, again. Very, very chuffed. Um, fair to play to the person who um, was at the counter. And the next one I've got to show you is again from Oxfam. This came in around September, but was very happy to get it. And I'm really, and it's really made me um, sort of think I've got to get more of this band stuff in the coming year, definitely. So yeah, this is a really good comp. Uh, I found it for. About fiver again was the price which I um, priced it at because it didn't contain some extra bits. But anyway, here it is, the Jam Snap. This is a double LP compilation. Doesn't contain the um, the extra live 45, but what a compilation! This is incredible. This is a really good listen. I had a blast listening to this recently. Absolutely loved it. Yeah. Brilliant compilation. Again, you know, a bit of wear and tear on it. Uh, vinyl plays well. Played it. I was recording this last night. Fantastic listen. Of course, you know, it's got all of the hits on it. But there are some tracks I didn't know. So tracks like, you know, Billy Hunt, which is a really good song. English Rose, Mr. Clean. Uh, you know, things like Butterfly Collector, which was a standout track for me. Brilliant song on that record. Figures Thieves, another great song. Uh, who else was on here? Uh, Funeral Pyre, fantastic. Man in the Corner Shop, brilliant. Uh, Tales from the River Bank, brilliant song. And The Incredible Precious, which is arguably my favourite jam song, with my limited only this record knowledge of it. I think that's a fantastic song. There is the Gatefold. Yep. Yeah. Really nice gatefold there. Show you the innards and all that stuff. So, yeah. Uh, next one. Yeah, really happy to find this. Yeah, absolutely love it. Brilliant compilation. And the last of the bits I've got to show you are all the 45s I got. So yeah, here we go. First one I got was in June um, from a Mind charity shop just outside where I live. EP1 by The Sounds Machine, released in 1988 I'm guessing. Features The Mission doing a live version of Shelter from the Storm. It's got Furry Muses doing a live version of Mania. It's got Pixies doing a live version of Hey. And my favourite track on here is the song by Dinosaur Jr. Which is Throw Down. I really like that song. There you go. Really nice little EP. And the next one I've got to show you. Next three anyway from Oxfam again. So I've got... Craftwork with Computer Love and the Model, double A side. Love this single. Yep. Next one is by The Cure from 1979, I'm guessing. Let me have a quick little look here. 1981. This is the Charlotte Sometimes 45. Bit dog eared there. Dog must have chewed it or something or whatever. But yeah, really nice single. And there's the label. And the B-side is Splintered in Her Hand. Really good songs. Happy to pick that up. Last one. The Police. Message in a bottle. Great 45. 
All these were, I believe, 99p. Yeah. Add it on. Green vinyl. Green. It's green. <laughs> and that's all I've got to show you for now. Thank you all for watching again, VC. Take care, and I'll see you all in another video. Until then, thank you all for watching, and bye bye for now.